I don't even eat popsicles. Um, I can like I'm not talking yes. about like the free- you keep saying. Does anyone have fireplaces? Yes. Do they still make banana splits? Yes. And do they? Is anyone eat sharp popsicles? Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier coming to you live from where I live. I am Mary Jane. Like marijuana or like Spider-Man's girlfriend? I think I am. What's the candy and the little girls on it? It's like um, has peanut butter in the center. Maybe it's a Mary Jane. Maybe. (laughs) And this here is Frank looking good as always. And guys, it's a late podcast today. It is. You know, we're getting in under the wire. We were getting under the wire. You know what? I'm taking a trip on Friday. No? Yeah. I'm going to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also going to Tennessee. But guess what, guys? You're the only 10 I see. <laughs> so being that it's a late podcast, I have a little little special thing. If anyone, and I mean anyone, comments Eastern Standard Time before the end of the today, which probably I only have a few minutes. I'll send you a postcard from Florida. That's Where's nice the time? of me. Oh, we don't have a clock somewhere? The time? Oh, yeah, there it is. The okay. time won't matter because I'm going to edit this. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the of the podcast. So that's my, that's my message to you. But, <clears throat> and that's, well, that's to keep myself accountable. We have not missed a podcast. No, we never missed a podcast. At Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like clockwork, we used to do more. Now we do this. What we do, this is what we do. It's getting kind of nerve wracking. And I'm going to explain why. Mm -hmm. I'm a nervous wreck. Oh my gosh. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. Do you ever go to hibachi? No. Have you ever been to hibachi? The thing where they they Yeah, with the onion Mm -hmm. onion volcanoes and all that. Yes. And where they throw the vegetables. They throw things at you. I'm very good at catching things. Are you? That are thrown at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, throw Swedish fish my way. I'm catching it. What I always hate is if I'm in, if there's a big table. Okay. And he's going around. And about eight people uh, are in front of you. And some of them are strangers. And they go, catch, catch. Yeah, that's... First try, catch, catch. Yeah. I'm not stressed about the fact that I... My ability. I am... I have more of a chance to miss it knowing that eight people before me caught it. Because it's like, you, now you can't. It's the sort of the way I feel with the missing a podcast. You should wear a catcher's mask when you go there. A catcher's mask? Mm-hmm. My, then my mouth won't be able to grab it. I know. It. Just let the f- shrimp bounce right off. Like, no, I should do a catcher's mitt. And like, he throws it in my mouth. <laughs> so yeah. So it's like every month we do podcasting. You get scared. The more it's like you can't miss one. You're lo- you're solidifying to the people to not miss. But guess what? I don't miss. That's why this podcast was up on August 26th. August 26th. Did I get the day right? You got the Thursday. August. I never know what day it is. Uh, thir- who needs well, it? Well, I had, I guess I, you know, I had 11 hours. Who needs to it? It's man made. You know what I was, it was 23 hours. thinking the other day? Someone said, um, or you always hear it and it'll say, oh, I don't believe in Valentine's Day because that's a man made holiday. All the holidays are man made. I think they're saying a man is the founder of Valentine's Day. No, they're saying like, that's not a real holiday. Like, that's a commercial holiday. You know, stuff like that. It's like all the oh. holidays were conceived and. Um, presented i i can see both sides uh-huh. like there is no reason to celebrate valentine's day except for the fact that we chose to celebrate valentine's day where birthdays you know like you know christmas is celebrating jesus's birth um easter is celebrating i'm saying all religious holidays yeah yeah i guess they're all man- man-made. holidays are goofballs but today's holidays july 4th is like independence it is. Valentine's is just Valentine's. St. Valentine's Day. St. Valentine. Today's days are... What are they? Let me know. Um, National Women's Equality Day. Shout out to women. That's probably a man-made holiday. We should stop celebrating it. That's actually an, a real holiday. That's when one Those of the, the date, things were signed for women to vote. Obviously <clears throat> not all women, so that's kind of debatable. National Dog Day. Again. I saw a lot of people posting on Instagram today. Again, we have two dogs. I'll see them on the weekend. Yeah. National Cherry Popsicle Day. Hmm. Cherry Pop. Cherry Pops. Does anyone even eat popsicles? Um, I can, like, I'm not talking yes. about, like, the free- You keep saying, does anyone have fireplaces? Yes. Do they still make banana splits? Yes. And do they, does anyone eat cherry popsicles? 
Like, like, yes. I'm saying not the freeze pops. You've seen someone just eat like a full cherry popsicle? Yeah, I have. I don't even know what it would look like. Um, And National Web Mistress Day. <laughs> what is that? I know. It's a really crazy name, but it literally just means girls that are into... um. They code and they set up the websites. And so because, why is they called a mistress? Because it was always a webmaster. Uh, and when women were like, hello, it doesn't have to be a boy job. Well, it, the master shouldn't have to be a boy title. True. Um, I that's, had not, that's, going, that's going against <laughs> see the first house. <laughs> see the first holiday. Yeah. Women's equality. I had a paper. You're all webmasters. I had papers, but today was kookadooka. I don't know where the papers went because I remember... Uh, I think the devil took them. I think the devil put me into a nice little slumber. I know. A nap. Slumber. I had a paper just telling me who invented popsicles. And it was a Mr. Somebody. It Roy was, Popsicle. No, it was Eps, uh, Epson or something like that. And he made the Epsicle because he, he accidentally stirred up a drink. As, as They always have accidentally, yeah. right? Stirred up a drink and it left it outside or something. It got frozen. The next day he's like, ah. And he was like selling them at somewhere. And they were Epsicles. But when they got bought... Um, you know, when it became paper, yeah. pop, it became popsicles. And did you know that popsicle is a brand name? Oh, popsicles are like Kleenex. Uh, you know, is it, it that brand with like the blue and the red? I don't know, but I guess it's like it's, I know England. I think they call them lo- ice lollies or yeah. or just, I think you probably get away with calling them pops, ice pops, ice pops. Yeah, but um, popsicle is actually brand name. But I had a paper huh. and I lost it. I don't know where it went. So yeah, what's what's the scientific name? Frozen treat. I don't know. <laughs> Frozen treat. Okay, that's fine. This is the guy who invented them. Look at him, Joey Epps. Epps, <laughs> Epps, 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 Epps. I don't know. I don't know. It's something Epps. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I already spilled the beans. I'm going to Florida this weekend. You are. And um, nothing. We won't miss any podcasts. Never do. Don't worry. Yeah, so this is what my next week is looking like. It's pretty busy. This is my end of summer. It's, I'm, it's, I'm going. You out. tell people your plans. What if they someone tries to get you? Mm, come get me. Don't say that. No, I'm kidding. Don't come get me. Don't even come near me. Maybe you should just tell people what you've done after you've done it. What? Well, okay. I'm going to Florida. If you can find me in the great state of Florida, stop it. Stop with all the, the, the nonsense. <laughs> I'm going to Florida. I've been there a million times. Or maybe um, you're going somewhere else, maybe like Louisiana or maybe on the other side of the country. Maybe Tennessee, because that's the next place I'm going. Tennessee. I'm going Tennessee. from... Uh, Do you know this song? Take me to another place. Take me to another land. Make me forget all that hurts me. Help me understand your plan. Great you just got us copyrighted. We're not going to make a really? cent off of this video. Really? No. Speed, speed it up. Take me to another place. Take me to another land. <laughs> and then I'm going to... Tennessee. From Florida to Tennessee to go to a music festival. Not to spread the word of God on your... On well, your... Who do you think needs it more than the people that are... think Billy Graham was going to music festivals I think and dancing was... without his pants on? He wasn't. Okay, you just brought that into this mix. I will be dancing with my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's, it's my end of summer. You think Billy Graham cared about end of summer? No. You're already behind the, the, the time frame of what Billy Graham was doing. Really? Yeah. How old was he when he started? 11 or something. Really? <laughs> You didn't watch our show or read about him. I did. What would Billy Graham do? WWBGD. Mm. Sounds okay. like a designer. You know what? I'm not, going, I'm not going anywhere then. I, yeah, yeah, no. no. Got it. I buckle, don't even know why down. I said any of that. It's Walmart Wednesday. It's Walmart Wednesday? Walmart Wednesday. Ah. On a Thursday. Love me some Walmart. It's walkthrough. It's walkthrough Thursday. Thursday. Do we have time to dance? Yeah, roll the intro. All right. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What's up, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday. The a day so nice you gotta say it twice. Walk eat, through Thursday, eat walk an through ice Thursday. Popsicle. Um, and what we do on Walk Through Thursday, if you if you don't already know, is we open up the Bible. The Bible's open. You please not play with papers when the Bible's open. I guess reading the Bible is like playing with papers. In the best way. And we pick a verse, any verse. Come one, come all. Pick a verse, any verse. And we slow it down. We look at it sentence by sentence, Mm -hmm. word by word. Sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word. 
Yeah. Letter? Letter by letter. Why not? Who cares? Is the data slow it down and really look at the verse we're looking at instead <laughs> of just putting it on the old bumper sticker? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that. today we're going to not do that <clears throat> one. So, I'm sorry. We're going to do this one. Oh, that's too long, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, it's like you have a little... What, what do you call it? call it? Something bag? Grab bag? Grab bag of, of different verses? Nah, it's just, well, okay, it's, it's more of an it's sort of an idea. Oh. So, and I've said it before on here, and it's, as you sow, so shall you reap. That's the verse? It, it's going to re- pertain to that. Okay. You remember us saying it. It has to do with farming, as you S-O-W. Yeah. Uh, as you sow, that's, that's, so that's shall where, you reap. That's where the saying, like, well, you, you reap what you sow. Right. You reap what you sow. Exactly. Um, so, so it, it's, um, if you, if you say, where did that come from? You know, um, it came from a few places in the Bible in different wording, yeah. you know, obviously, cause a lot <clears throat> of it is saying what you put out is what you're going to get back. Yeah. Um, but, but a, a specific one that is, is Hosea eight, five to seven. Um, so Hosea is a book of the Bible. Yes, it is. <laughs> and, um, Hosea was a prophet who, at the time that he was writing this, God was very disappointed with Israel because everything he has done for it, they are with the golden calves and... and they're going to Florida. They're, they're going, going to Tennessee <laughs> music festivals. They're going to Florida. <laughs> and they're... um, But they're talking with their mouth and they're going, oh, God is great. Mm. We, we, we we believe him. We agree with him. And... But he they're, they're cheating on God mm. because they are not act they're saying it but they're not acting it Oof. so this book of hosea he it actually kind of does like a parable of a cheating spouse oh. and, and but it ends up good in the end they take you take the cheating spouse back because the real love but anyway that's actually where the um that one piece came from it says they sow the wind and reap the world whirlwind now that's a very very old book. This is also a Hebrew. It's in the Hebrew text, you know. It's not, yeah. Okay. Um, Paul's letter to the Galatians refers to it. Okay. Okay. And he, of course, Paul made everything easier, and Paul wasn't making stuff up. He was like reminding people yeah. about it. So he says, "A man reaps what he sows." In his letter to the Galatians. Okay. So they're both saying the same thing, but he, Paul's just reiterating, um, <clears throat> and. So you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. So where are we, so where are we beginning? I've seen a lot of papers in front of me. Yeah, I like to just muddy the waters so it looks mm. like you know, like in school, it's like, oh gosh, teacher, how, what homework? What you do is what it, homework haven't I done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much, so much here. Um, all right, we can. Um, you know what? We'll we'll get to the Bible in a second. We yeah, we just started. We will get to the Bible in a second. Have you ever heard of Khalil Gibran? No. Khalil Gibran is very, very famous. He's he's deceased. He um, was around 1883 to 1931. Um, he actually was Catholic, but like he's from Lebanon. So you know these kind and they wear, the, the priests wear the flat yeah. topped things. You know? So they are Catholic. The Pope is their Pope. But it's, yeah. um, anyway, but he was raised to accept and to be, learn from and to all religions we love that from his parents so he wrote um, a book called the prophet and it was very very um it's the one of the most translated books in history Mm. um and people really refer to him a lot and and um it's a it's a whole collection of poetry about everything in life yeah um he does say the reason i bring up khalil gibran is because in on in his poem called friendship um he talks about so here it is um you, the, mm. the field that you sow with love, you reap with thanksgiving. Oh. So that's Khalil Gibran. Um, I like that. We like talking about love here. We yeah. like Khalil Gibran. And it's a, it's a recommendation for, for people to read a book that... Um, read a book. You know, when people say, what's the last book you read? Yeah. I need to start reading more. Read The Prophet because... Maybe um, I'll read it. It's extremely well known. Plus, it's since it's in sections, it's not like... Maybe I'll go to... Maybe I'll go to... um. Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Get it? And then I'll have a, a read for Florida. Yeah. You yeah. haven't read. And you've been on the beach all summer. So it's a beach read is what, you know, everybody gets books specifically for the beach. 
I play spike ball on the beach. That's fine, too. It's good to keep your body healthy and your mind. All right. So that's just the fact that this phrase, this topic, this thought is goes beyond people in religious yeah, communities. Yeah. I, um, I didn't even know. You reap what you sow was religious. Oh. I probably did it one time. Yeah. But it's it's so common. So it's it's you reap what you sow, but but then um couldn't it be also mean to say it like you got you get what you deserve? Well, I, I usually hear it in mean context. You know, oh, really? Yeah, if cuz it's like um uh, the what I would equate it to is you made your bed and I got to sleep in it, mm-hmm. which is you don't really say that in a good way. Like Oh, you're you, right. You're so driven you're and, right. and you, you got what you wanted. It's like, well, hey, you made your bed. Now you get to sleep in it. Right. It's the same thing. It's like you're 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 stuck with the consequences of your actions. But Interesting. You know what I just thought of? The little children's book. Is it Henny Penny? Where You love that book. Is isn't that what this is saying? Where nobody helped and then And they she wouldn't share the pie with them. You reap what you sow. You reap what you show <laughs> show. Yeah. You reap what um, you sow. Definitely. I guess what? we could just do Galatians because, like I said, Hosea is a little confusing. Um, not confusing, but it's it's heavier because it's. Oh, you're like I'm up for that. I was wanting to go heavy. <laughs> um. Yeah. Either I one. I like it. Cheating on your spouse and okay, people going against Israel. Fine. Then this is just one portion of that story. Maybe I need to hear it. And maybe I'm podcasting. I'm also going to music festivals. And true. Maybe this is this is speaking to me. Okay. Spencer, wake up on this late okay, night so on a Thursday. Hosea 8, 5 to 7. It's right there. Oh. <coughs> Home. Is it Samaria or Samaria? I don't know. Samaria. Throw out your calf idol. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of purity? They are from Israel. This calf. A metal worker has made it. It is not God. It will be broken in pieces, the calf of Samaria. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. The stalk has no head. It will produce no flower. Where it to yield grain, foreigners would swallow it up. So it's threatening. It is threatening. <laughs> um, it's threatening. I like the... Okay, can I say something right off the, po- right off the top? I like the part that says, this calf, a metal worker, has made it. It is not God. Recently, um, you know me, so you know that I, I I often am envious. Can I admit that? When I green say with envy. you're wearing all green today. All green. You know, these rich people and especially with healthcare, and I say like, hmm, I bet I bet Kim Kardashian's kids have great dentists. You know, like yeah. I always kind of say that in these kind of things. And the other day I was driving and I said, You're God's child that goes far beyond your life on earth and your teeth on earth and everything else. So that kind of is right there. The, this gold calf, who didn't want, who doesn't want that? We'll, we'll take it. We'll take the calf's ear. Imagine gold. We will not. No, I'm saying like, you know, uh, the yeah. value of it. Yeah. And, and he's just like totally devaluing it. Yeah. It's, it's earth. And he controls man, himself. Yeah. Some, some guy. Yeah. So I just like that part, but go ahead. Yeah. Um. No, I like that too. Cause we, we do talk about, um that in general we had many podcasts talking about spiritual significance like, so this is talking about cats which were inherently against god right um but we talked about even items for god of it's not about the value of the item a right. cross is a piece of wood right a, a necklace is a piece of metal it, right. it's you can have all these things and they can represent something but at the end of the day you can't put value in even like we were talking, I think at the time we were talking about Bible because there was like, what happens if you, someone destroys, oh, destroys right. the Bible? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, they didn't destroy the word of God. Right. They destroyed a piece of paper that some paper boy made. Right. So I like that. It's like saying like, this isn't, this isn't important. No. This piece of metal. So they sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. What is that? Well, um, to sow is to plant to and plant. to reap is to get the harvest. harvest. So maybe if you're, if you're planting, oh, maybe that's even good for like um, rumors and um, saying bad things. Like if you just say little things, we talked before about them growing and karma in yeah. a different religion would be called karma maybe. Coming yeah. back, like a whirlwind is. Yeah. No, I, I like think. that. I like that. Um, okay. So, so the wind and reap the whirlwind. You get, yeah, you get back what you deserve. 
Their stalk has no head. It'll produce no flower. But yeah, um, just you, you, you reap what you will you sow, and I think that is big. And it seems so simple, right? Yeah. Of course, I know. But when you're not actually planting cucumbers outside, I feel like so many times because he's talking to Samaria, who is talking about it but they're not being about it and stuff. Yes. And so you're going out, I'm planting sunflowers, I'm planting sunflowers, I'm planting sunflowers. Anyone who doesn't plant sunflowers is a doofus. And you're putting some crabgrass seeds and then you're waiting and you're like, well, where's my sunflowers? And you get out crabgrass. And it's like, what? Like, you can't just talk. It's the definition of you can't just talk about it. You're right. You can talk about planting sunflowers. Is not the same as planting sunflowers. You're right. And then it's, it's, and it's all, it's, I like how it's, um, who said it? Khalil. Khalil Gibran. Khalil Gibran. Because the other thing is people, I feel like with this verse, always try to make it one to one. Mm. Like, hey, if you plant love, you'll get love. But, you know, you, you plant a seed and get a flower. You don't get the same thing. Yeah. It's usually a sprouting of it. And that's what the wind is. It's like, it's not well if you plant oh, if you right. plant if you plant wind you get wind it's if you right. plant wind you get a whirlwind right. if you get someone bigger and that's why like the, if you plant love you get thanksgiving right and so it's like it's like that so in a way you're you're saying you're if i plant crabgrass i'll get sunflowers and it's like no you always get crabgrass right well, yeah you know what i'm trying to say you know what i mean yeah you will so i, I mean, think it's important and like i said i mean I think, once again, no, not to cast judgment on anything. I think everyone, in some way or fashion, does this. Yeah. Of the, like of the, not being exactly because no one's perfect, and so like, not being exactly um, right. getting out what you put in. But also, do you have anything to say? I think I'm just steamrolling this conversation. No, not at all. Also, back to the love. And the, like, what we always talk about. And, and if we ever see us go in opposition with things, it's usually we're like, we don't like the judgment. Right. We don't like, um, we don't like hatred. Like, God hates this person, that person, this person. Because that's one of those things. Like, they're like, oh, I'm doing what, what God wants me to do. All right. I'm going to plant hatred. Well, what are you going to get out from sowing hatred? Hatred, per se. Right. What are you going to get out from for so in judgment? Right. Judgment? It's like people have this intent. Like they think, oh, well, I'm going to plant hatred. But don't worry. I'm judging this. I'm judging this person because I love them. Right. You plant hatred. You're never going to get love out of it. Right. Like it, it's that's planting crabgrass and expecting a sunflower. And that argument is sowing crabgrass and getting a sunflower. It's like, no, I'm not judging them because um, I hate them. I want them to go to heaven. I want there to be love. You you never could go from judgment to love, from judgment right. to this. It, it's 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 uh you're reaping what you sow, and then when you live in a term, oh, I love this word, but I can't say it's it. Tumultuous. When you live in a tumultuous world, the only answer f- to plant is through love. Right. Plant love. Thanksgiving. And when you made the point to say that it wasn't just wind for wind, it was wind for whirlwind. Yeah. And that's really interesting because when you were just talking um, about people who, oh, I'm not judgmental, but I have to judge yeah. him because he did something that deserves to be, um, you know, uh, scolded. Yeah. So you're not going to get scold for scold between you and him. You've just did the pebble in the water yeah. um, effect. Therefore, Th- you're doing damage by doing when damage. you think that you are helping. Yeah. Yeah, because a, a, a seed turns into a huge plant. Right. And when that seed is negative, that plant is a big old negative. That, that is uh, that is hurting people that weren't even involved. Ooh, yeah. If we want to get really into it, let's think of a sunflower. Okay. You plant one seed of hatred, you know, and you're thinking it's something that's going to come out. Then this flower comes out. It's a hatred flower. Well, how many how many seeds is that hatred flower going to have hundreds. on it? And it's a spiral effect. But we've been talking negative for okay. this whole time, right? Okay, yeah. So you're like, oh, phew, uh, uh, got to stay away from crabgrass. No, the idea is 
the same thing happens uh, with with love right. and, yeah. and and so you pay it forward uh, you know, life that, life is yeah. just one big farm and yes. it's you you pay you pay it forward and then that person that's, that's the idea yeah. of pay it forward is so, this yeah. branching effect and it's the idea of reaping things that are good sowing or sowing sowing things that are good um sowing love sowing sowing compassion and knowing charity that it even though this is um old testament that's what is, is is i'm glad you picked the old testament one instead of the um i had a i had a i had a mind so because old testament traditionally if you're not really paying attention is eye for an eye right yeah it's just and that is equal for equal that would be you so when you reap wind right yeah this is extremely old um you know um document and it's saying that no wind for whirlwind if wind you, for whirlwind some, something happens in that exchange where yeah. you blew it up yeah Love for Thanksgiving. Those are the there's like two yeah two good options. I, I think mm-hmm. it, it's 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 not one to one. It's one to the the creation of something much mm-hmm. bigger. And so the idea is yeah is be honest with what you're sowing. Like it goes yeah. that goes to the responsible you know, talk about it. Don't be about wait, yeah. Talk about it. Don't be about it. Be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. And so you know we can sit here. And we can say our pretty words, and you can listen, and you can listen to your pretty words. But hey, the real game starts when you're out in the field. Um, maybe we could even say about the environment, like where we are reaping what has been sown. Where you think it was just one can of hairspray, it was just yeah. one plastic fork. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely, and, and it's it's definitely a spiral effect, and. Also, yeah, I mean, looking around and, and playing the blame, like, oh, I'm just doing what they're doing. Yeah, it's like you're you're in charge of your own farm, right? And, right. You know, someone might give you a hundred negative seeds, and it's your choice to plant them. That one good seed, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen. And you do if you do look at it like it's it's going to come back bigger than when you sent it out does make you more responsible it makes you more responsible but it also should make you more have a better feeling doing yeah. doing good stuff true it's like and like because well, let's just look at that for a second what is thanksgiving you know like obviously we know the holiday yeah but you put in love you get in thanksgiving well let's just think of the holiday you know like that's sort of a community love everyone's happy sharing caring and some days you might be like, I'm just in a bad mood. Yeah. And it's like you don't really feel like putting that effort when you don't realize that little effort goes such a long way. Yeah. And it's like from just a little act of love right. comes the rejoicing and Thanksgiving. Who knows when? Who knows how long this harvest will be? Right. But Right. That's the other thing because the power of patience. The power of patience is peace. Because look at us. We're doing a late night, late night. podcast. It's a small... It's a small little 30 minutes of speaking about this. Mm-hmm. And and some days, you know, I have the fear of missing one. It's like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing? And why? What does it really matter? Who's mm-hmm. really watching? Or who? Anyone you know? up? Anyone up tonight? And so, but we are sowing the seeds. We are sowing the seeds. And we don't have a timeline for the harvest. We don't. And yeah, sometimes, you know, you could be looking at your ground. And especially when you're plant, like first planting seeds. And you're like, nothing's growing. Right. Look, it's just dirt. I have yeah. a whole dirt. It must have bad seeds or something. Right. What's the worst thing you can do? Oh, let's just dig it up and try something else. If you keep doing that, if you do that all the time, like, well, this isn't working in my life. Then this isn't spiritual. This can be anything. Yeah. This doesn't work. And you pull the seeds up, do it again. It's the patient man right. who sits and he waits. Stays and then he has a bountiful harvest. Right. Rather than impatience. And then yeah. no impatience, no flowers. Right. But hey, that's been Walk Through Thursday, Thursday. coming at you late night on the late night <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. Thursday night football. Um, So we'll be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Will it be as late as it was today? Maybe. Um, Shout out if anyone was able to comment in time. I hope not. I don't feel like I'm the post office. <laughs> You're getting those little stamps. We'll be back. Um, ah, hit myself in the <laughs> a little bit. Peace.